This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. I'd like to thank the Academy, my 8th grade English teacher, my optometrist, From the my... the Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. <laughs> You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way Free Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So the Oscars are coming up. Yep. And so it's time to make our annual picks. Yes. And we have a system for this. Yes. Our system involves not seeing any of the nominated films. Right. <laughs> and then we see who won the awards leading up to the Oscars, and then who has the most buzz. Yes. <laughs> um, there's some Oscar rules. You could pretty much apply to all the awards. If you died since you made the picture, you're in. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you've not won before. But. Exactly. Biopics rule. Mm-hmm. Portraying some sort of illness works really well. Yes. White guilt is a factor. <laughs> not so much this year. <laughs> right, because, because there's so little diversity in the nominations. Yeah, mm-hmm. Multiple nominations... Without a win helps yes. eventually. Uh-huh. <laughs> but if you're nominated twice in the same category, that hurts you. Right. <laughs> okay. So let's start with supporting actor and actress. Okay. Supporting actress, we have Patricia Arquette in Boyhood. Mm-hmm. We have Laura Dern in Wild. Mm-hmm. Kieran Knightley in the, in the Imitation Game. Emma Stone in Birdman. And Meryl Streep. Into the Woods. Now, Meryl Streep, you know, normally, you know, she's like a shoe-in, but really she's not for this movie. No, not so much. Because no. according to the previous awards leading up through this season, the Golden Globes, uh, the SAG Awards, and the Critics' Choice Awards all gave it to Patricia Arquette. And and she, quite frankly, ages in this film. And right. that's, you know, Literally that's something ages. else. But this is, you know, a lot of times when the actors play older or ugly they win the awards right. but in this case she actually got older during the movie like 12 years older right if you and don't know the whole concept of boyhood is that they shot it like for a couple weeks over a 12 year period so yes. like a couple weeks here and then next year we'll shoot a couple more weeks and it is literally telling the life of this family yes. and this boy so yeah she's a shoe in i think yeah and i agree we're both mm-hmm. going with patricia arquette supporting actor we have Robert Duvall in The Judge, Ethan Hawke in Boyhood, Edward Norton in Birdman, Mark Ruffalo in Foxcatcher, and J.K. Simmons in Whiplash. Now, I just love the name of the Foxcatcher movie, but yeah. I don't think that it's going to win. It, it hasn't had very much actual, like, I saw that movie buzz, you know? Right, and generally I would, I would think of going with Robert Duvall being a much older actor, mm-hmm. but apparently The Judge was a really bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> and so I don't, you know, I think they're just throwing him a bone to give him a nomination. And considering, again, Golden Globes, The SAG, and The Critics' Choice all went with J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. And we're doing the same. I love J.K. Simmons. He's like one of my favorite actors, so I hope he wins. Right. All right, let's move on to Best Animated Feature. That's not the Lego movie. That's not the Lego movie. Because, you know, it (laughs) wasn't nominated, and that was... Of course, we saw it, so it couldn't, you know. And it's won several awards already. Yes. (laughs) And it it wasn't even nominated. nominated. Yes. It just blow, blew everyone's mind that they didn't include that. Mm-hmm. But they did include Big Hero 6, The Box Trolls, How to Train Your Dragon 2, Song of the Sea, and The Tale of the Princess Cayuga. Uh, so, the Golden Globe went to How I Tra- How to Train Your Dragon. Right. So I'll, I'll pick that one too, just because I don't want the Box Trolls. Right, yeah, I, I'm going the same. Just I, yeah. I, I think the Box Trolls somehow took away the nomination from from lego movie yeah all right best original song we have everything is awesome i'm oh, sorry from the lego movie we have glory from selma grateful from beyond the lights i'm not gonna miss you from glenn campbell i'll be me Ooh. and lose stars from begin again you know I picked Everything is Awesome in this category because I think they might throw a bone to the, all those people who are saying, you know, the Lego movie should have been nominated for movie. But I think they're going to throw it to Glory for Selma 
because of white guilt. Yes. And Golden Globe and Critics' Choice both went with Glory. Yes, but they were able to give other awards to the Lego movie. Right, right. So, you never know. And, and you know, Glenn Campbell could come out of right field. Yeah, yeah, you never know. <laughs> I assume he'll actually come and sing it. Yes, exactly. One would hope. Okay. Best Director. We have Alejandro G. Inaturu. That's, I'm In sure a, I, have nev- I have no clue what that is. For Birdman... Richard Linkletter for Boyhood, Bennett Miller for Foxcatcher, Wes Anderson for the Grand Budapest Hotel, and Morton Tildum for The Imitation Game. Golden Globe and Critics' Choice both went to Linklater. And he's getting a huge amount of buzz. And just the idea of this movie is so unique that I just don't understand how you can't give him this. And he was taking such a risk. Yes. Because any one of these actors could have gone, you know, Gone rogue. Gone rogue, or something could have happened to one of them that they couldn't have completed the movie. He was literally taking a risk that all these actors would be available over a 12-year period. Yeah. It and, and because of that alone, to me, he gets it. Yeah. Best actor and actress. All right, best actress. Marion uh, Cotillard for Two Days, One Night. Felicity Jones for The Theory of Everything. Julianne Moore for Still Alice. Rosamund Pike for Gone Girl, and Reese Witherspoon for Wild. Uh, I think this is probably the closest thing to a lock, uh, because it's SAG, Golden Globes, Critics' Choice, Julianne Moore. Yeah. Um, she plays a woman with Alzheimer's, so there's the illness part. Right, you got the illness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, she's won before, and generally once they won, win once, then it's more it's easier for them to win again. Mm-hmm. Huh. So th- we're both going with Julianne Moore. Uh, actor, Steve Carell in Foxcatcher, Bradley Cooper in American Sniper, Benedict Cumberbatch in Imitation Game, Michael Keaton in Birdman, and Eddie Redmayne in The Theory of Everything. Now, I just love Benedict Cumberbatch so much. I would love it if he'd win, but he probably oh, won't. He- we have Michael Keaton, who won Golden Globe and Critics' Choice, for Birdman. Right, and and there's two different categories there because Birdman is considered a, a comedy. comedy. Yes. So he won for the comedy actor. Yes, and then Eddie Redmayne won Golden Globe and SAG. Yes. So we're we're splitting on that. I think Michael Keaton's going to win it. I I think he's um, got a history with the Academy. Mm-hmm. They know him. Eddie Redmayne is too new. Well. The only reason I'm going to Red Main is because playing the illness card. <laughs> okay. To me, that's the reason I'm going with, with that. And mm-hmm. and because he won two other major awards. Mm-hmm. Best Picture. Okay. We have American Sniper, Birdman, Boyhood, Grand Budapest Hotel, The Imitation Game, Selma, The Theory of Everything, and Whiplash. All right. So here's the breakdown of the previous awards. The Producers Guild uh, gave it to Birdman. The Golden Globes gave it to Boyhood and the Grand Budapest Hotel. Again, Again drama, drama, drama and comedy. comedy. Uh, same thing for Critics' Choice, Boyhood and Grand Budapest Hotel. Mm-hmm. The New York Critics Association gave it to Boyhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we then had uh, Birdman won the SAG Award, as did Selma. Mm-hmm. So Selma's the only one that, that, of the majors that uh, actually got an award for this. So Now, is that award, though, isn't that um, the SAG award more like for ensemble acting? Ensemble acting, and not yes. technically the, the movie. Best, yeah. uh-huh. Not the best picture, yeah. but the best cast. Right. So based on that information, we're both going with Boyhood. And again, I'm going with it because it's so different than um, a lot of other movies. I think the reason it didn't get SAG awards was because of the nature of the cast. Again, it's not, you know, um, an, a typical ensemble cast like you would have that right. got together and makes the movie. It's a cast that got together in two-week periods over, you know, a period of years, which is, I think, why SAG wouldn't have voted for him. Right. And Otherwise, they might have gotten that award, too. And generally, the best director, in many cases, uh, yes. is an indicator of best fit. Best Picture. Yes. At least to the Oscar uh, voters. Yes. So. Mm-hmm. 
So there you go. Yay! <laughs> we'll find out for sure who won very, very soon. Right. In the meantime, you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching.